Alright guys, this is going to be the third video on my BOA updates. And we're going to update Karma, which you guys can see how big she was. She was the first BOA I got from Mike. Ah, damn it, man. She got, she, she throws herself through there. But she's hitting about three, probably between three, three and a half feet long. And here is uh, Allie, or Bubble, sorry, my other Hypopara head. And you can just see that pastel color to her. And Penny, my pos para head, possible head blood. And honestly, guys, I just, like, I don't know what the hell happened, but she just got smoking white all of a sudden. I mean, if you saw her right now, guys, you would be blown away. I would put money on her being Hepper Caramel. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's another para head. This is a para head right there. Look at that darkness. Pos para head. This was the first snake. I was I was going to get this from Mike. I thought this was an actual para head. But then he told me no, it's a pos para head, and the uh, para heads are seven or yeah, seven fifty. So I got Karma, who's trying to get away right there. And as you can see, she's getting big, and she's getting moved into a twenty-eight quart rack very soon once it's finished being built in a couple days. And then I just said, you know what? Because I wasn't gonna buy any snakes, and she was the one I was originally just gonna spend three fifty on. So, I mean, for an extra 250 I got her thrown down with the para head, hypo para head, my other hypo para head, and got her too. And damn, guys, look at that. I mean, she is getting huge. I mean, little baby 08s becoming monsters. I mean, that's an 08 too right there. And, I mean, look at that one. Monster. No, sorry. Monster, small, small. That one, medium size. I mean, they're doing all good eating very well I mean this one up here at Karma she is a psychopath I mean if I mean I could put a 10 pound dog in her cage and she would at least try to kill it but as you can see this is a tech deck half pipe and yeah I do tech deck sometimes when I'm bored and I have nothing to do and I was originally gonna make a video with just the first hypo parahead and parahead but Karma's been a big mess down in there Bubbles been big mess, Penny's been big mess, and I don't know about other people. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos where people just, I mean, they just have a, sh a bunch of shit. Sorry for my language, but just nasty ass stuff in their cages. Just makes it look horrible. I don't know. I don't know how someone can look in the bin and see that and just skip over it for another day or two. I mean, honestly, I think that is abuse. I mean, most people probably won't think so, but I think that in my mind. So I keep my snakes as healthy and clean as possible. But as you can see, messes. I mean, I got messes every day to clean up. And guys, just to let you know, I got a salmon jungle head albino male. that has a uh, has a, almost a full stripe going down its back coming in a few days. Getting it for a decent price. And I might be throwing in one that looks right about like that with her or with him for, I mean, a little bit over that. Getting a really good price. I might just get a pair of them. But he will be going to my salmon or my jungle double head striped albino next year, my 07 female. And most likely that if I don't get the pair because then I'm getting a sunglow jungle male to go with a jungle double head striped. And probably to the salmon jungle head albino female if I do get her. But anyways, back to the snakes at hand. This snake in like Karma over there, I'm not sure if she is head BW Caramel. But I mean, like, my, I was talking to Mike about, I mean, it's not a 100% way to tell if they're heck caramel or not. But, I mean, when you look at this snake right there, I mean, I, I don't know. In my head, it just screams caramel. When I look at this one, it just screams caramel. I mean, the picture of the hypo BW caramel on Mike's page with the Paraglow 08s. Like, honestly, I don't know. I, I didn't think he had any hypo caramels, but that sure looks like an 08 to me. But I mean, this one, when you look at the tail right there, it looks the, almost the exact same as that hypocarmel, even though the hypocarmels look way better than a uh, hypopara head. But I mean, jeez, I mean, I, I just can't believe it, guys. Last February, I had one boa constrictor. I had one, and now I got 11 boas with one or two more coming in the next couple days with quite a few. I mean, like I said, I was getting six to probably around six to ten more high end boas, like really high end boas that are crazy t paws and sharp jeans some really cool stuff coming but these salmon jungles weren't even part of it but i just uh... talked to the guy some crazy ass salmon jungle head albinos and i mean yeah 
uh, I mean, why not? I mean, the more, in my in my opinion, the more the better. I mean, if they're high end, they look great. I mean, I don't like to spend a lot of money on a bunch of cheap snakes, but I'm getting these for a good deal. Salmon Jungle's Head Albino 2008, full stripes. Not, I mean, not as nice as uh, Marshall's uh, uh, Super Salmon Jungle. But I mean, honestly, man, yeah, I mean, it's just a step below that one. And I, I, even, I, I even like it when they got little, like, tiny dashes in them, like aberrancies like that. And you can see Karma on the half pipe. This snake, guys, ah, she, I just don't understand it, how big, I mean, boas get so big so fast. And for those of you who want to get boas, see my vids, see other people's vids, and want to get them, when you got one or two, it's simple. It's not a lot of work, but when you, I mean, when you got all those bins filled, all those bins filled, cages filled, plus another couple racks with two more snakes, plus another six to ten, I mean, it, it's it's a lot of work. But, I mean, in my opinion, it's worth it. I mean, most of you probably know I used to be addicted to Oxycontin, and for the past two years, I've been in a program, stayed clean off of it, even though I got a couple friends who are in the program too, and they're still just plain old junkies. I mean, I switched over from that stuff to this because now this is my life. I'm getting a business going, and I mean, I see people on YouTube which, I mean, they get more subscribers because they got a bunch of different animals. But honestly, in my opinion, I mean, yeah, that's great if you want to be a hobbyist, but if you want to be an actual professional breeder, you got to have direction and not not to put anybody down but uh, there's no direction in that I mean that like I, I just talk to professional breeders and I get good compliments and good stuff from them when I talk about what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna execute it and I mean this is gonna be my life I mean I'm gonna be a professional bow breeder I mean yeah it's gonna make it a little hard to like it as much or love it as much when I'm selling them but you know I, with the rodent wholesale snake business that I'm starting up in a couple months, that I'm starting to build the racks today actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to have enough money to fund my boa projects, get my sharp projects, T-Paws projects, blood project, Maron projects, Motley jungle projects, all of it. And I, I will do it guys, there's going to be some awesome stuff to come, and I'm not stopping at boas. There's going to be reticulated pythons and ball python crazy morphs coming, but for right now, I'm just trying to get some of the T-Paws Motley projects because, I mean, those things are awesome. T-Paws Jungle projects, awesome. Maron's awesome. Uh, Sunglow Motley's awesome. Hypo Motley had albinos. Try to produce some Sunglow Super Motley's, albino Super Motley's. I mean, I just I just can't sit down and make a small list. I just want I just want everything. And, you know, if you want everything, you got to pick the ones that you, you have to pick a couple to start with and go from there. And uh, you guys are going to be surprised when the next snakes come. You guys are going to love them, and they are incredible. I'm not talking about the Salmon Jungle or the pair of Salmon Jungles head albino. Those will be awesome, but the ones I'm getting are just going to be out of this world, just crazy, just, I mean, beautiful. I mean, ghost, motleys, hypo motleys, het for certain genes. I mean, I, I'm just really excited. I mean, sometimes I don't even sleep when I think about it. But back to the vid. Let's see if, where she's going. She's going deep in there. There we go. As you can see, she is getting up there. She was the first snake I got from Mike Wiseman. And when I got her, she was tiny. She was smaller than that sun glow. I think it was November when I got her. And she got delivered next door to that house out the window over there. And uh, with luck, I looked out, and they brought the, she brought the snake over in the winter, and everything went good. But to finish this vid off, Karma, my Parahead, Het BW, or Het Caramel, at, or Bubbles, my Hypo Parahead, number two, Het Hypo, Het BW, or Sharp, and Penny, my Pos Parahead, Pos Het Blood. She is one in third shot of being para or one in third shot of Sharp, one in third shot of being Caramel, one in third shot of being Het for Nothing. But with what she looks, the odds are already for me, and I, I, I can almost bet she's going to be Het Caramel. And hopefully I'm going to cross my fingers that the blood gene from her mom, who is a 50% Het blood, got in there so I can get a triple Het Bloody Sharp Sun Glow or maybe even like a Bloody Sharp.